Delta right now. Me and young Dre Janae. And she's going to be my MUA today because this young chocolate dawn is going to be a young red dawn. And so basically, I'm turning into one of my favorite beverages, which is a red bowl. So I'm going to be a red bowl. Most people think I'm from Philly anyway. And you know, Philly people say bowl. So basically, we're trying to figure out what we need. And Andrea, I don't want to say this and not be correct, but this is your first time doing like costume makeup, right? Because she usually do like beauty looks. And I, so we're trying to do this like quick and like cheap because I'm bad boy. So, so we're trying to do this like as quick as possible. Something that's just going to give you that like super red coverage because I got dark skin. So, you know, hopefully we can get, you know, that in a bag or whatever. Oh, wow. Let me kind of show you. That's a lipstick. Yeah, but with powder it can mat it down, but also it can be I want the camera. Wait, I gotta but get the camera I'm trailer. To... I'm surprised, like, why in like the foundation, right, or the, would it be concealer? What are you putting, mother? Probably the toy. What? So in the concealer or foundation section, why don't they have like it's more of a color, other colors? More pigments to read. But that looks pink. It does. Mm -hmm. I mean, of course we get added in the post. I need a trader. You think so? Yeah. Oh, it's like a. It look like pinky red. Like, let me show them. So this is the yeah. color. It's called Grip Love. It's probably hard for them to see because the lights in here yellowy as well. Oh, I guess it kind of don't. It look kind of more red than that because that kind of gives off orange in the distance. Let me see. Yeah, on our skin complexion never look, but if you mix, it will probably give you more to work with while we're wearing a face paint or something. I don't understand, like, for a makeup store, you would think they would have, like, unlimited options. I mean, once I edit it anyway, and it's going to be nighttime, so, so it, it might work. So? How much is it? 850 But that little thing ain't going to cover my whole face. Two of them. If you Two of them. Both of these. I think True. Probably, probably. So maybe we should just hold them. And then you have face paint, so you can also, like, you know. Maybe we should just hold them then. But this one is called Group Love. And we can also continue to look around. And this one is called Boy Tears. I think we should do Boy Tears just because it's called Boy Tears. So the two of them, or you don't want to mix it? I would definitely want to mix. Okay. Or do you think we should come back and get it after we look around? Okay. I'm not. But tight. you can always put it. Oh, in the bag and just yeah, put it back, yeah. right? You know, I'm a at the uh, counter decider. <laughs> oh, that's like how my mother is. <laughs> Y'all don't understand how excited I am for this because I really want to turn into a red bull. Like I've been wanting to turn into a red bull for a long time. So I'm very excited. All of these shades, and yet I do not see any red. I think that this is discrimination. All of this chocolate to caramel white chocolate goodness. <laughs> and they don't have red. Wow. Hmm. What about all the red people out there? What about us? What about us? What about us? See, this will make you buy just the so now we are in Five Below, where I feel like we're gonna find much better priced makeup. Look at this, two dollars, <laughs> five dollars. Oh, they they tripping. See, I'm already ready to get but out of here. Up. Yeah, because this is a good ass deal. They probably don't even work. Look, the pigments is already fucked up in it. The thing. It'll work for a picture. Oh, oh, yeah, but that's lit though. I always man. wear stuff like that for pictures, so. And then oh. the green one will be lit. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna do that like a, a like a, like a, a print of like a, a design print. You know how they do on it? Yeah, you need a stencil though. I think oh, a stencil would be dope. On that, but that would be hard. Like, yeah, I, I think a stencil would be too. Mm. I'm sure they do. Because I know they use them for shoes all the time. Sneakers. They use them for sneakers. Y'all yeah. comment below if y'all want to see me do a five and below outfit challenge. I think that'd be so hard. I feel like I should do it right now while we yeah, here. Yeah, you should. Yeah, we gonna do it. We gonna do it right now. We gonna record it. We gonna record she it. She got a, a a brush, a brush flat for brush. a flat a flat top brush for getting in those tight areas where our beauty blender won't get in. Yep. Got it. Got it. And so this, this, all of this information I'm giving you guys is very important. So when you do your daily red makeup routine, your <laughs> look will come out flawless every time. 
the Dharma will never fail you, no matter what area we're teaching you, you know, whether it's fashion, whether it's clothes, whether it's Dino dripping, whether it's just being a saucy motherfucker, I got you, who oh, do that again, hit the wall. Boom. I don't even know how to do it. So what up boys, Don? we are back, and we just did a whole bunch of shopping, and we got a lot of stuff, Dre, you wanna come and kind of explain them what we got so far? So, you like not in camera at all, we had okay. to like duck down something, probably. Well, I can lift this up for you real quick. Alright, so... We're going to use these NYX Powerpuff lipsticks to create the perfect uh, red. We couldn't find like any red makeup at all. So besides this, I think they would do well on the skin. We uh, did a swatch test. We're going to try some uh, red grease makeup from I picked that Party City, but. We're gonna minimize this as much as possible. It's not really good makeup. Um, of course, I'm gonna prime. Um, well, I guess the Boston's probably wouldn't know what prime is for. Prime is to minimize pores and to help um, control oil and sweat so that your makeup can last longer. I do have a really oily skin. And I'm going to use this NYX Vivid Brights something. We're gonna call it color. Um, it's kind of lighter, so um, of course you wanna contour to give uh, the face its natural shape. So we're not gonna do all the extra stuff. We're just gonna keep the shape of the face. And then of course we have tools, brush, and a beauty blender. It should not be that hard. It's like, yeah. So basically the concept we were going for, like I did see this picture online, it was a guy, he was like painting red like a bull, he was drinking a red bull. Um, and in short, seeing that I was just like, yo, I love red bulls, I should do this. And then I was like, oh, let me hit up my favorite makeup artist to bring me to demonic bull life. But she was explaining to me, it isn't as simple as just painting your face red because his picture, we then kind of realized it was somewhat painted, but major, majorly edited. So I think she said basically like, if I just painted my face red, it would lose the shape of my face. And like, if you look at like a person's face, you can see like where it's brighter, where it's darker. And if you want this to be a really dope piece of work, then you will want it to be as realistic as possible. So I guess here we go. Y'all should, y'all, I cannot wait till y'all see what this turns into. <laughs> I can't wait either. All right, I'm so okay. First and foremost. I'm so scared. trying to be orange like Trump. No, because this is going under, so when you put the red, the orange is not even going to show. It's just going to have like a, uh, like a sh under shadow, like a brightness under it. Girl, I'm going to be getting that face is beat, yo, because this is like, I'm thinking like, am I going to have a black eye after this? Sorry. You good. Well, you talk like a girl. Don't cry like a boy today. Nope. Well, you sound dumb. I really think that she wouldn't. Yeah. I don't think she would have been a good president, but I think she would have been better than him. But can I just say, like, one time I was talking to Garland, which is my mother's boyfriend, and he was saying he don't think that she could run the country simply because she was a woman. No, and no, I didn't say that. No, I know you never said that. You never said that. But I'm saying he did. Like, if it was about you, you know, I would like make it about you. But no, like I promise you, this is just something I always tell people the story. And then I asked him like. So you don't think women are strong? And he's just like, mm, not as men. And I was just like, well, you don't think that, you know, men can, women can like, you know, handle stuff? And like, you don't think they can like, bring up like a country they don't, they can't nurture like they do a mother, like they can't build something strong? And he was like, no. And I was like, oh, who raised you, a man or a woman? And he was like, a woman. And I was like, oh, makes sense. Cause like, 
I just believe that most, especially nowadays, especially in the black community, most men are raised by mothers, like women. And really, that's they the, hate them. And they hate women so much. And because they hate women, because a lot of their traits, a lot of their characteristics are that of women. And you know, they say women hate women. So <laughs> it makes sense. But then not only that, like, also, that's where a lot of, a lot of the hyper masculinity comes from. Because, like, there isn't a place to really draw masculinity from. So like you don't really have like the proper or um, like a good example of what a man can be. So or what a man not not what a man is, but what a man can be. So what happens is you draw from what you think a man should be, or what masculinity should be, and it's always that like super aggressive version of what masculinity is. And I'm just here to tear it on that wall, cause like. Somebody wrote down a long time ago, this is masculine, this is feminine, and since then, people have been living by it and deeming what they feel is masculine and what they deem is feminine. And like, people have been like, building their whole lives around what somebody said. And my whole thing is, I feel like the most masculine thing is not living by what another man says. And so like, you living by rules that another man created. You aren't even a man, or what you consider to be a man, because you- Yeah, I probably just wanna stay black. I mean, you can make that decision. I can do like a burgundy, but like a, a kind of lipstick. It'll just keep it dark, but it'll be still in a red family. Okay. Y'all get what I'm saying? Yeah. Y'all feel what I'm saying? I always did. And that's why I don't try to over mask, like, mask like my son. Like, that's a word. Like, that's why I don't want to make him, like, feel like he can't do certain stuff. Like, and I get on so much backlash because my son. He don't really have a male figure in his life, but so he's always around me. But I tell people all the time, if my son grew up and whatever he wanted to do, like say, okay, you got men out here that do hair and makeup and stuff, and they they not even a, an ounce of gay or anything, and they just do it, and people just look at them like, oh, they so gay. Do, 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 do. But if my son wanted to do that, I support him from the like all the way. Like I would buy him the fucking kit. Take him to the school, all that shit. Like I'm not gonna take rip my son away from anything he wanna do over no masculinity or nobody's thoughts. You get what I'm saying? I, think I support. Do. I support him in anything he wanna do, and I don't care what nobody say. So Kim, can I ask you a question, bro? Yeah. Wherever you at. As a father, <laughs> so how do you? What's your take on that as a father? Because I know that like right from a male's perspective. Yeah, like yeah, from a male's perspective, and actually having a son. My whole thing is, I mean, I guess I do be like that sometimes because he do be crying all the time. I'm like, yo, stop crying like a little girl. But like she said, I would never like tear him away from anything that he wanted to do for real. Yeah, that's dope. Well, that's good. First thing that you said out there. Like, you know, Sorry. one thing I can say about like the whole crying thing, that's why like the campaign I'm pushing is like cry like a boy. Only because it's like, I want people to know that Crying isn't always okay. You gotta teach people to be um, be able to deal with things without overreacting or over. Right, and that's the problem that we got with him because even every time I go to the parent teacher conference, they say like, at some there's always sometimes where he's just too sensitive. Like somebody can he can do something in the past and somebody grab a tunnel on you and he'd be crying. Maybe like, don't tell him. And, and listen though, real quick, Jared, like I don't think it's enough. Like, okay, so the problem, if, if crime is actually the problem, I think, like, and the only point I'm making is not to, like, indulge in that point or dive into that point. It's only that, like, you know, you can still correct somebody from crying. I think it's just, like, the way you tell them, like, stop crying. Like, like a, girl, a, a little a boy, because, right. like, you know, little boys cry. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. tell them that. Right. Yeah, like, like, yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? And, like, that right there is dope that you do that because it reinforces the fact that I can be a man and cry, but like what I'm doing right now, what, why I'm crying is like an immature reason. It isn't yeah, it's like not being cry. immature. Right, it's a different. And because like the thing is like, when you, it's two things. Women literally call themselves not strong when they say cry like a girl. And then it, it lets a man know that crying is woman-like. So then like I explained to Dre early in the car, like it will literally have a man in his older ages not knowing how to emote. Literally, like, you know, in situations he won't know how to express his emotions. And that really will have people stuck, yo. Right, and women can't even be happy with a man because of that shit. I just want the world to, like, allow people to be whatever they want to be. Be themselves, for real. Yeah, be themselves. The 
crazy thing is that you don't even look red on camera. You just look orange as fuck. You look real trumpish. Yeah. It really but, don't. It look like a normal complexion, yo. Yeah, That's but crazy. in real life, like you really That's red. That's really as red. Bright as a bright light. Wow, yeah. I look scary without like eyelashes. Keep it up, son. It wouldn't just look like I don't have none with um. Yo, hold up, I'm about to take a picture and show it up real quick. Cause it is so red. And insert that picture. Yo, the lights really lie, yo, hold up. Look, you can see just better on this picture already. Yo, that is crazy. So hey you guys, my name is Dre Janae. Um, my Instagram is at Bronze Labut. B-R-O-N-Z-E-D-L-A-B-E-A-U-T-E. -E -E. I'm a Baltimore Marlin makeup artist and soon I'll be on YouTube too. So And I'll definitely like if y'all watching this lady and when her YouTube channel is up, I'll like link her channel below so you can subscribe. And of course follow her on Instagram. Y'all can follow me too, because y'all gotta follow me to see this picture because this picture will be doing spot. I can't wait to take this picture. This picture I'm time. really I'm so glad that you helped me with this for real. Well, I'm actually glad to be a part of it because I never did like costume makeup, so it was fun. And this is just the beginning of a lot of wild ideas that I have. Cause y'all know me, like if you've watched my channel for a long time, then you know I've kind of been like jumping around from like what I wanted to do and stuff. And like creating content is really probably like one of my passions and just taking ideas and just building them and bringing stuff to life. So I'm really excited to do this. Oh, I got one more thing to say. Oh, what's that? I'm here with the Dino Chang hey. gang. Gang, gang. Well, now we just gotta take um, thumbnail pictures and that's it. I'll yeah. we can just actually go take a picture. <clears throat> I can't get no meat because I'm a vegetarian, so I'll probably get a pizza. What you getting, King? Show the people what you get. What's that pizza? Uh, pepper jack. Okay, Alright boss cons, I hope you liked this video, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you guys like the final product and um, be sure to comment, let me, uh, let, me, let me know what you guys think, like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Stay untouchable.